Greetings everybody and welcome to the end of May. There's going to be two videos going up tonight. One talking about some extra JP stuff and one talking about global stuff. So let's start the easiness. Uh, and it is easy for me. Alright, so talking about yesterday. Uh, one of my video yesterday, I talked about the brand new character into JP. And as somebody pointed out, uh, because... Hey, guess what? I just completely derped hard on this one. This is Lucille. Lucille? Obis? Uh, Charles twin sister. Uh, I was not aware of this at the time. I was not aware that they were twins. I must have missed that completely in the story beat because uh, there's just been so many costume changes lately that I just wasn't even paying attention or you know, whatever is going on. So yes, our new character is launching tonight on JP in roughly about a couple hours from now. And I'm just not going to be doing a stream for her. Not because I don't think she will be good, um, but because recently with the way JP updates have been going, uh, the actual data isn't out until the following morning. And it has hurt a little bit doing evaluations and making sure that the correct stuff is there, even though Wode of Calc is also having just mistakes, whatever. Uh, I am going to probably hold off a little bit for this uh, and do it the following morning, uh, just to wait and see. But this feels like kind of the perfect one to kind of wait on. So if you're curious about that, that is how that will be going. <clears throat> Now, uh, for what globalers can expect, uh, let's start with this. So first off, uh, login bonuses. We'll be just going back to the five free tickets. Try and get this character. So back to the usual again. As for banners, basically what you would expect for a new 100 cost character uh, for the free option, paid option, and again, the exact same thing for the uh, vision cards. Our vision card, uh, one time free aid or free visior, free lapis, and our paid one. So, um, if you're curious about that, there is, of course, another way to buy this unit, although she will be almost certainly as expensive as the previous ones have been. So, I think that's just <clears throat> a little too expensive. Uh, yeah, not really too much else to say there. Moving on. Uh, there are a couple of other things that I did want to talk about. First off, the producer live letter, which has, of course, some interesting details, as per usual, uh, though not too terribly much. Uh, did you enjoy the Advent Children collaboration? We will continue to actively hold collaborations in the future, and we will be prepared so that enjoy not only War of the Phantoms, but the world or other Final Fantasy games, so please look forward to it. Uh, from here, we will introduce some updates planned for June. So uh, that's interesting. We'll come back to the note in a second. First, Master Quest 2. Jaden, as well as Alaya, will be getting their Master Quest 2. But of course, we are talking about Bridal Alaya, who in the previous video I said should be kind of interesting with our new uh, mage support thunder character coming. Uh, just, yeah, the two of them should be pretty interesting, but both the uh, bride and groom will be getting their upgrades for Master Ability 2s, and that's it, just only for week two, nothing for week four. <clears throat> guess we uh maybe there's something else coming this month for master quest 2 not that there's a ton left to do but anyway uh da, 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 nothing else in there so next up we'll talk limit burst so first uh limit burst and uh, uh so elsie gonna be getting her limit burst upgrade curious to see whether that will make a terribly big difference uh, Beautiful Blade Leela <clears throat> will also be getting hers. And in week two, we, the last character will be the Ice version of Howlet, who one of my guildmates has been pretty upset with his Master Quest 2s <clears throat> and upgrades. 
So hopefully this lemon verse is gonna bring it all home, and it would be nice because hell, it's a pretty cool character. So why not? Uh, then for globalers out there, this is one of the most unimpressive ones for JP because of the way of acquiring this character, and almost nobody on JP has him, and I do mean that. Uh, but Zazen the Immortal will be getting his Limit Burst upgrade. We'll have the details, I guess, for all the Globalers out there who are excited for that. Also, Raph will be getting hers. And I do believe Shao's uh, will be the last one for the month of June to be getting a Limit Burst upgrade. Uh, as for the latest update schedule of uh, what looks to be coming in June, um, stone templates as well as party organizations and whatnot uh, to your account and make it available for download on other devices after the transfer. So basically, if you uninstall the game and reinstall the game, guess what? Your templates aren't going to be destroyed. So good news for that, finally. Uh, also, proxy operation for guild battle will be getting a little bit. It will be judged uh, participation in battle. This is due to increase in EX level. So, okay. And unit training. Um, there's also something to do with the unit training to do with uh, status effects. I'm curious to see exactly how this will, uh, but we'll have more details on that as it comes out. Future updates we don't talk about because while there's a bunch of stuff planned, for the future, uh, we've been waiting on it for quite a while, so moving on. And last but not least, the conclusion. Thank you for reading to the end. Global celebrated its fourth, but the production is already underway for JP, or sorry, underway with an eye towards the summer, as well as the fifth anniversary in November, and even more into the future. So, you know, they're at least pretending like EOS isn't a threat. Uh, we like to update better than ever while listening to the voices of the players. We appreciate your continued support. Yada, yada, yada. All right. So uh, before we go on, I would like to talk about what's the most interesting part of this entire thing. The, I'm, the talking about the actual collaborations being more active. From what I've seen in JP, it does seem like we are gearing up for another collaboration to come back in very short order. As a matter of fact, I wouldn't be surprised if it isn't uh, announced within about a week time to make up for the fact that we have nothing next week. And we'll probably still be going with character stories for the middle of the month, like actual like story characters from the main story. Uh, we'll be continuing down that route. But uh, a collaboration active at the same time, and I wouldn't bet on particularly tactics because uh, well, it could be there's a massive amount of upgrades that need to happen for tactics, such as uh, character masteries, limit burst upgrades, kit upgrades, and just equipment upgrades. It seems a little too much for this point. Um, so I'm going to probably say that that's not what is coming here. I wouldn't be surprised if it's something along the lines of, say, Final Fantasy 15, and that getting its character some character upgrades or something like that but i wouldn't yeah my bet is still on a collaboration in the very near future for jp and one month later for globalers all right and the last thing veritas of uh metals now uh we have confirmed that some users are finding it difficult to exam to obtain higher veritas medals due to communication errors and other factors that have prevented from participation in battles. Hey, somebody made a video about that. That's pretty cool. As a countermeasure for this issue, we are considering making adjustments to the changing the acquisition method to daily missions in order to avoid discrepancies in the maximum number of points earned per day due to this error. We are planning to respond to this in early June. We will notify you once the detailed schedule has been decided. Who knows? Maybe they even watch my losers meta video. <laughs> No, jokes aside, uh, although I have seen players attuning to that on JP of uh, who can outlose who. Unfortunately, I'm not win winning or losing, depending on your perspective. Anyway, yeah, uh, this is nice to see that they are addressing 
uh, not only the Earth Veritas metal situation, but also the Fire Veritas metal situation. There are a number of players right now uh, who are, you know, kind of who already have Fire Veritas on JP. And it's not necessarily because of they're just super committed. It's also because they're kind of lucky when you get hit with a communication error problem. There's almost nothing you can do to pray that it somehow it fixes itself. But we all know that that just doesn't happen. But yeah, uh, it is a little bit annoying. And many of my guildmates who probably should have had it by now have actually don't have it because they miss one or two because of disconnects so this seems like a absolute great decision i do wish that they would compensate the players you know really cost them nothing to get like 30 coins or something like that probably make good uh peace among the community and just let everybody get the character that obviously they're interested in. anyway do a goodwill here gumi goes a long way but yeah between the changes between earth and fire veritas that is a positive thing so yeah, all the details on our new version of shawls, you know, they're twins, whatever, uh, will be coming tomorrow, as well as the vision card and general preview. So look forward to that. Thank you much for watching. See you later.